Is there one symptom that's kind of the more prevalent over all the other? It's kind of a, a crapshoot at this point. I think WHO has a specific like definition of long COVID, but it's more of the type of thing we would associate, I think, with a syndrome than a real disease state, right? So mm-hmm. it's three to six months post acute COVID infection, you never fully recovered, and then you seem to get better, but then you dip again and you develop different symptoms, right? The way I look at it is there's kind of these core symptoms that everyone seems to get. And then there's a whole constellation of symptoms where some people get them and some people don't. And every long COVID patient kind of has a different constellation that is from that larger list. So kind of the core symptoms are the fatigue, brain fog, the kind of mental clarity issues and how bad it is is really the difference, but some cardiac involvement, shortness of breath, tachycardia, fast heart rate, or just being able to not regulate the heart rate real well when they're doing activity. 